Good, uh, good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Uh, we did post a new video over on Patreon. I'll share with you some information about that in just a little bit here. First, I want to bring you and want to thank Nick Bryant for sharing this right here with me. Uh, he shared a, a, a clipping here, uh, a readout of Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin the third calls with Israeli Minister of Defense Yoav Gallant there. Uh, they are re, uh, bringing in the USS Abraham Lincoln. They are expediting that to be brought in according to this. Uh, it was equipped with F-35C fighters to accelerate its transit to the Central Command Area of Responsibility, uh, is what it says here, which is actually Israel, where they're bringing it at. So thank you, Nick, for sharing that with us there. Also, they're bringing in... Uh, additionally, the USS Georgia, a guided missile submarine to the Central Command region as well. This, by the way, is going into Israel, is where that's going at there. Uh, and, and also, too, just to kind of show you the reason being, the Iran observer put out, Hezbollah is likely to carry out a ground operation against Israel. Hezbollah fighter putting his hand on his comrade's shoulder in a video means a green light to enter the hostile zone. Uh, that's what they're showing there. And that's the Iran observer uh, claiming that. But one thing that's very troubling to me, though, is what a major of the IDF, alleged this is a major of the IDF, uh, is saying in this video right here, uh, where he accuses everyone in, the, uh, uh, in Gaza, of, including the women and the children and everything, uh, as guilty. Uh, so I want you to be able to see this here. Let me kind of blow this to the full screen here. I'm hearing about humanitarianism, he says. Uh, I'm hearing about civilians to stay. Uh, I hear about elimination of pockets. He says, friends, there are no innocents in Gaza. Uh, the butchers come from these families and these families support them. Running around with candy following attacks of slaughter sheltering them. It's their wives, their children, their uncles, their friends, their colleagues, it's their workers, their employees. Everybody is guilty and we won't know victory until we annihilate Gaza. Annihilate Gaza. Um, I mean, that's just completely nuts to me to put something like that out. One thing that has changed a lot in Israel since I lived there back in 2004, I lived there a couple of other times since then, but uh, this picture right here that I found on Twitter also speaks a thousand words. If you guys go back to my early videos back in the early days, I shared with you uh, young women in Israel carrying uh, M's, what appears to be M16s in these pictures here of some sort. It could be different types of calibers, but nonetheless, but in the pictures that I used to share, they never had their clips loaded directly into the guns. Uh, now, these clips are directly loaded into the guns themselves, as you can see, and they're also, they're dual clipped to where they tape the other one to another angle, so when they drop it, they can flip it over, stick it back in, so instead of 30 rounds, they've got 60 rounds to be able to work with uh, very rapidly. And uh, like I said, now you're seeing it everywhere, shopping stores, you name it, those clips are actually in their guns. Uh, that's a com completely different scenario. It lets you know that Israel's far more on tensions for sure. Uh, this also sent to me by Charles, uh, kind of thought this was interesting, throw it in a little different, it's not on Israel, but said this man was on that, on that plane, talking about a plane that would just exploded recently. He discovered a way to program regulatory T cells to attack tumors, a huge breakthrough. It showed 90% remission in the lab. They're moving to animal trials if it works and basically ends cancer. And his plane just exploded. Dr. Leo uh, Ferreri uh, is the guy that had discovered that. Very sad to hear, but it seems like anything that even remotely challenges uh, uh, the cure for cancer is always blocked because they don't want to lose the millions of dollars that they have. Uh, this right here is the video that's going to be coming out soon. It's, you can get a sneak peek here today on Patreon uh, to see a little bit about this uh, video here with French. She's also on Twitter. Uh, I'll be sharing that information inside the description of the video there. Uh, once it airs here on Israeli News Live, but right now you can get a sneak peek. It only costs a dollar to join our Patreon channel. It's patreon.com 
forward slash Israeli News Live. Uh, I want you just to hear just a little clip of what when I was about Trump 17 says. and then throughout my entire adult life, these shadow beings um, were all over all the time, everywhere. Um, I had many encounters with them. If I even took three to four encounters a year over 37 years, because I'm 55 years old now, that's 100 plus encounters with these shadow beings. And so I spent most of my adult life knowing that I was dealing with these shadow beings. And I am a Christian. I was born and raised a Christian. I've always had um, very strong Christian faith. And the first time I saw this thing when I was 17, I immediately thought this is demonic. This is something very evil. Uh, very interesting interview you want to catch at. Like I said, you can get the sneak peek of the entire thing on Patreon.com. Uh, it, love It's a good way to support the broadcast here. So we encourage you to go take a peek at that as well. I'm sure you'll find that very interesting. Uh, I want to mention too, real quick for you guys, LifeWave. Uh, I know a lot of guys, you, some of you don't want to hear that over and over, but let me tell you something. I'm not telling you just to be a salesman for LifeWave. I'm telling you because I know it's going to change your life. Uh, my son, we're promoting his LifeWave uh, today. It's LifeWave.com forward slash Ethan Ethan's X39. It'll be in the description below. I wanted to share with you just a couple of testimonies. You may have seen these already, uh, but I've got a couple of testimonies here I just wanted to bring back to your rem uh, remembrance here, and we are getting them pouring in. In fact, on Banoon X39 YouTube, we post a lot of our Zoom meetings there. I'm actually behind on posting a couple of them. I'll try to get them up today. Uh, but listen to this right here. This is uh, Randy. Randy is a airline or was an airline pilot for Southwest. And uh, what happened to his eyes there? Listen in. Uh, 2020, I just felt something like something was going to be different. And I went in there and she goes, look into the camera. I know you do this all the time, but you know, you got to tell me what you see. I know you don't see anything. And for the first time I saw like a blue cross. I said, I see a blue cross and she starts laughing. And then I go, why would you laugh? I mean, is it not a blue cross? She goes, Randy, it's a blue cross. So I got, I started getting the eyesight back and uh, you know, then um, it's called the Beamer. We, we were using a Beamer. It, I think they make it in Switzerland. It wraps around your head and, and uh, it increases the blood flow around the head if you got if people got headaches or something but it, right. it cost about six thousand dollars but it, it was able to help my eyesight get back but i just noticed that these patches too that it, it, it's helping i don't have 2015 like i do in the left eye it's more like 2080 with my contact in because i don't have a lens on the eye and I was thinking about getting the lens on and they're saying, well, you've had a couple disconnects. Why go through that again if you don't have to? We can't promise you that you're going to get better vision, but you got pretty good vision compared to most people. You were not ever going to, they, they said in the med medical book, you, you shouldn't have vision with your problem that I had. You know, it, it you okay. shouldn't. Because you were disconnected for two months. You said you look like your your eye in the back, the macula looked look like a potato chip. It was all dried up because it had been connected. Because you don't feel anything. You just, I got 2015, so that took over. And I was. It's amazing testimony that he gives there. Uh, and I actually got to hear a lot more of his testimony, even privately, that we didn't talk about on there. And uh, just the things he said about X39. This was Ron Gunter. I Ron Gunter has even up. had his thyroid uh, came come back. That anyway, was wrong. there were several things that they diagnosed. And last year, uh, it was around September, not the end of September. I went to the doctor and he looked at me and was listening. And he said, that's not good. And I said, what's that? But he didn't answer me. <laughs> so I didn't know I didn't know what was not good. But when I came back, well, this past Monday, I took mom with me because she wanted to see him too. And he was checking her and said, boy, 
you seem to do amazingly well. But by the end oh, of last year, we thought both of you what, was going to go. The let me quickly tell you this. I haven't even uploaded this testimony as of yet from Ron and his mom. Uh, anyway, he had stage four kidney failure. That's gone. Stay, uh, congestive heart failure. That's gone. That leaky heart valve doesn't exist anymore. But his mom ended up in the hospital. They put her on hospice. Imagine that. Put her on hospice. Brother Ryan called me to pray for his mom, and I prayed for his mom. A day or so later, his mom came home. Now, she faithfully uses X39 as well and swears that, uh, I don't want to say the word swear, but, you know, she firmly believes that they are what has given her that second chance in life. 91 years old, soon to be 92. Amazing lady. I got to meet her one day uh, on, on one of our Zoom calls here. Just really appreciate her so much. And uh, um, I've not, I've, that's the only testimony I've ever heard of somebody coming out of hospice and not having to suffer any further. Anyway, listen, going, yeah. um, you can join X uh, Life Wave. Uh, uh, I'll put in the description below. Not only will I put Ethan's LifeWave.com forward slash Ethan's X39, but I'm going to put my wife's phone number in there. She's got a phone dedicated for you. Send her a text and she can help you walk through this as well as our email. Uh, BenoonX39 at gmail.com that we can help you through uh, with anything, that, any, answering any questions that we could for you. Uh, anyway, God bless you. Thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.